Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, which I learned this truth. Shalom to the Akiam, pushing this truth and faith in sincerity. So, you know, we're out, or oh, I'm out uh, today on the highways and the byways, um, pushing forth this truth that you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Hebrew Israelites from the scriptures, man, you know. And it's time for us to repent. It's time for us to, you know, forget this world we're living in, man. Forget this Babylon the Great, right? Which is, um, what are they, America? And um, the wickedness they're pushing, you know, upon the earth. Because, you know, um, the, word, the, the earth, as we know it now, is in a shambles, man, right? It's not in righteousness, man. This world has been ruling wickedness, you know? Um, all these mandates, all these laws that are being passed throughout the earth, you know, that are going against Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, and his name means he is. He, he is. You know, and the name of the son Yahweh Shai, right? The name Yahweh Shai means he delivers and or he saves, man. And Yahweh Shai is who everybody ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, right? And Yahweh Bashim El Shai, you know, is going to um, destroy um, modern day Babylon, man, with, a, um, 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 with nuclear missiles, man. You know, modern day Babylon is America because all of the wickedness they're pushing, man. Modern day Babylon, which is America, is like the. They're doing the same thing like Sodom and Gomorrah and Babylon, man. And the ancient Babylon, man. All these wickedness they're pushing, you know. Everything that goes against the scriptures, man. And if you see the time we're living in, we're living in a time of prophecy right now. Prophecies are coming to pass, you know. And the major one I want to I wanna, um, talk about, right, is World War Three, You know, because World War Three is being, literally, it, it's slowly, slowly coming to us, man. You know, there are, there are nations... Um, rising up against nations, nations joining forces, you know, and uh, the men of, the men, the brothers, the apostles and the elders of GMS have been teaching about the destruction of, of, of America, man, through World War Three for years, right? And a lot of our people, they scoff, they scorn, they, they thought that the men of the Lord are mad or crazy, right? But it was through those men of the Lord I was able to learn, you know, and accept the truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashi Shai. Right? Because at the end of the day, only Yahweh Bashim El Shai knows who's going to accept this truth, right? And who's going to, like, forsake it or don't care about it, right? Um, and the men of the Lord have been out on the highways and the byways making videos on YouTube for years, teaching about the destruction, right, of, of, of America, man, through World War Three, right? And, and that's, like, the main topic of, of what I want to speak about today. The first precept I'm going to get, right, is... Um, in the Apocrypha, 2nd Ezra um, 15 verse 1, right? And it reads, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, say of the Lord, right? So basically, Yahweh Bashim El Shai, right, has instructed his prophets, right, to, um, to um, speak, um, you know, prophecies, man. And, and prophecy means um, to say something before it happens, you know? So basically, the men of the Lord has been... Um, um, you know, <coughs> prophesying the destruction of America. Second Edges um, 15, right, verse 1, it was an instruction tell, um, telling the men of the Lord, right, to push, um, um, push, um, um, you know, the message of these prophecies, man. And that's what the men of the Lord has been out here doing because if the apostles and the elders are not to the brothers, right, weren't pushing those um, um, message of prophecy, I wouldn't be able to, to hear it and learn and understand it, right? Because I'll, I'll read the scriptures, but I won't be able to understand what he's saying. Because I grew up in church, they read Bible in church. But since I came into this truth, I've learned so much that the church never taught me. So I would have read the Bible, but I would not understood it. Right? Because the spirit, you know, the spirit wasn't working. Because I wasn't hearing the truth. I wasn't hearing from the apostles and the elders and the brothers. Right? But because the, they are, are doing the Lord's commandments by pushing forth the word of prophecy... I and other and, and other Israelites, right, that, that were lost, right? You know, other Israelites that were dry bones, right? Now now we've come now we basically um, 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 come to this truth man and and now um, um, because of that right we gain knowledge of these prophecies so we know what's gonna come to pass because of 
um, the apostles and the elders um, following the commandment of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. You know, I'm out here doing the same thing, right? Whether or not there's people out here or no people out here, I, I don't know. Yahweh Bashim al Shai could send someone, you know, just to walk past to hear the word, man. You know, because where I'm at right now, I'm like, like, this is like where I'm, I, I mostly um, come out and teach. It's like on this side, we have like the, um, the road where cars are passing and people are riding their bikes and walking past, literally, and right near the fence. Obviously, this side is like a small park where people take shortcuts to go home and stuff. So, you know, um, on some days you have a lot of people here walking past and some days there's not. But either way, you know, I come out on the highways and the byways to push forth the word, right? To the hopeful elect of Israel, because the word is for you, man. You know? And um, in, 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 this, in this kingdom, man, you know, we shouldn't be trying to, um, you know, um, trying to get up in this kingdom, man, trying to get up in society, trying to be rich and famous in the society, because this kingdom is over. World War III is, is literally going to happen. It's literally coming to pass. It's literally coming closer and closer. We're hastening to the coming of Yahweh Bashin al Shai. When World War III happens, then you know Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is literally here, right? And, 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 and the worst thing, especially us in the truth can do, right, is look for things in the world. Right? Obviously, we're, <coughs> we're living in the world, but we shouldn't be off the world. We shouldn't be trying to partake in things of the world. And, you know, we're out here, man, you know, like these people in the world who try and drag you into certain things. You know, like the other day, I was on, a, I was on the main road in the certain area where I live in London. And um, I saw an individual that, um, before I came in the truth, you know, I was... You know, when I used to be doing my my wickedness, um, you know, on the streets and so on and so forth. Um, so this individual that I know, right, he he went to prison, and um, so I think he went to prison before I came into the truth. I think so. I'm not entirely sure, but either way, I came into the truth. I'm um I haven't been in the truth for long. I've been teaching for like some months. So obviously, he came out like a few months ago obviously i haven't seen him since yesterday i was on my way home was it yesterday or the other day i was on my way home and i saw the individual right i saw the individual so obviously i saw him just saying hello you're right cool whatever and then he's like oh um how i, I can't see you around whatever whatever this this that 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 and then he's basically telling me oh you need to come out for a spliff one day man come smoke a spliff and i'm like no man, I haven't smoked, I haven't smoked weed um, for a while now, man. You know, and he's like, "Oh man, you need it, man. You need it." I'm like, "No man, I'm cool, man. I'm, I'm, I'm cool, man." You know what I'm saying? So like, there's people in the world who try to drag you back into old habits, you know, into old, into into old things of this world, right? But you might never know. It could be a test for me how about you know, share. You know, so you know, we shouldn't try to be. You know, trying to get up into this society in this kingdom because this kingdom is, is about to come down. You know, and if you're too much a part of this kingdom, then you're gonna come down with this kingdom, man. You know, and look, like, I even remember a time. Um, I remember a time I posted on, on I posted on the social media. I was like, um, wait, like what, what? Um, if you had like one, one prayer, I think I don't remember exactly. I'm paraphrasing what I said. I said like, if if you had one chance to pray for something, what would it be? And most, the most things that people pray, said they will pray for is uh, um, riches, like how to make money, um, success. And you know, that's what all, that's what everyone, especially, and most people that answered it was Jake, man. You know, and that's what everyone said. They'll pray for um, how to make, how to get rich, how to be a millionaire, success, you know, for my friends and family and so on, right? And only one person said, um, gave an answer that I liked. And this individual said, um, I'll pray for knowledge and wisdom, right? And obviously, I, I don't know what knowledge and wisdom he, 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 he said um, he, he was talking about, but when, when he said that, that caught my attention because personally, that's exactly what I thought to myself, you know? Like, knowledge and, and wisdom and understanding, man, you know? And especially when I read um, um, the story of Solomon, you know? When, um, when his dad de that King David died and he was taking the, 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 the kingdom, you know, and the Lord asked him, like, what, what do you want, you know? And he said he wants um, wisdom and knowledge and understanding to judge the nation of Israel. So, and God said, 
but the most that you have about your share so like i said um because of what you asked for i'll bless you with riches i'll give you what you didn't ask for right because of his you know because the lord said he could have asked for riches and wealth and women and all these things but he didn't he could have asked for long life asked to overcome his enemies but he did it and asked for wisdom knowledge and understanding so Yahweh Hashem Yahushai gave him that and also gave him what he didn't ask for like the riches and the you know and uh and so on and so forth and when I read that man it really touched my spirit that's like probably one of my favorite favorite part of the scriptures man and from that I always every time I pray I always if I most times I always ask Yahweh Hashem Yahushai Know, to help me understand the scriptures give me knowledge and understanding give me the urge to want to learn more man you know let me actually uh get that as well uh, sec um second chronicles one let me get that picky you know because in this time man this is what we need especially now when we're in the time of prophecy we need um to ask you how about you know shy for wisdom knowledge and understanding of these prophecies man you know because this prophecy if you just read it just like that right then you won't be able to understand it man because the scriptures is not just a regular individuals like to read the scriptures as like just a regular like it's a regular regular book man like you can read from back to front you know um and that's what um i, I saw that in a video today today from um elder apostle aram lord man like, that's what he said you know a lot of individuals read the scriptures like it's a like it's a book you can read from back to front and you'll be able to understand it but it doesn't work like that man you know the scriptures is not just a, a regular book um, that you can just understand just from reading it, man. You, you know, you need to have the, the proper understanding, man. You know, the proper breakdowns and stuff. Um, so, like, yeah, Second Chronicles 1. This is a uh, Second Chronicles. This is uh, Second Chronicles 1 and from verses um, from verse 7, right? So, in that, in that night did Yahweh appear unto Solomon and said unto him, Ask what I shall give thee. So, you know, Yahweh Bashim Hashem asked Solomon, what, what do you desire? What, what do you want me to give to you, right? And, um, Verse eight, and Solomon said unto the Most High, Thou hast showed me great mercy; you showed great mercy unto David my father, and has made him to reign in his stead. Now, O Lord, thy power, let thy promise unto David my father be established, for thou hast made me king over a people like the dust of the earth in multitude. Verse ten, give me now wisdom and knowledge that I may go out and come in before this people. For who can judge this people that is so great? So Solomon, King Solomon could have asked for wealth, riches, to kill his enemies, for women, you know, could have asked for many um, materialistic things, man, you know. But he didn't. He asked for wisdom and knowledge to, 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 to judge the nation of Israel, man. Verse 11, And the Most High said to Solomon, Because this was in thine heart, so Solomon was being sincere of what he asked for, and thou hast... <coughs> not ask for riches wealth or honor nor the life of thine enemies neither yet he asked for long life but has wisdom and knowledge for thyself but has asked wisdom and knowledge for thyself that thou mayest judge my people over whom i have made thee king wisdom and knowledge is granted unto thee and i will give thee riches and wealth and honor such as none of the kings have had that have been here before thee neither shall there any after thee have the like so basically how about you now shy you know the most i said to solomon i'm going to give all your asked for but because you sincerely asked for that you're being humble you know you weren't being puffed up and proud you're being humble i'll give you everything that you didn't ask for man and that's the thing man like when we're praying man we need to ask for things that matter you know, riches and, and fame and royalty don't matter in this time, man. We're in the time of prophecy. We're in the time of Jacob's trouble. We're war tree. You know, shit's about to hit the fan, man. This kingdom is about to fall. All the riches and the wealth in this kingdom is going to collapse. The economy is going to collapse. You know, er, listen, like, literally, like, this kingdom is slowly coming down. So, asking for riches and fame 
it, it's not going to make no difference, man. Because you're going to come down, man, and you're going to come down with it. You know, in this time, we need to pray and ask for wisdom, knowledge and understanding to understand these prophecies, man. To understand what's to come, man. You know, ask for, for more faith, you know. Ask for mercy, man. These are the things we need to ask for. No, riches. Riches can't save you. Money can't save you. Cars can't save you, man. You know, your, 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 your 150,000 pound a year job can't save you, man. You know, only your how about you now shine, man. So we need to ask for faith, ask for mercy, man. Ask for wisdom, not your understanding of these prophecies. Because we're, we're in the time of prophecies right now, right? So I just wanted to get that out of the way, man, because if that precept was powerful, man, you know, when it comes to wisdom and knowledge and understanding, man, of the truth, that is what we should desire. That is my main desire, you know? I used to want to be rich, man. I used, I was a, a musician, man. I used to do dance with music. I wanted to get rich and famous, man. But when I, when I really see what's going on on earth, man, hey, I couldn't do that anymore, man. You know, I had to message um, um, this brother I know from GMS in the UK. I had to let him know that, bro, like, bro, like, it's, it's time for me to cut off this whole world, man, and, and, and be serious in the truth, man.